Hello. This is Stephanie, Talk Tales and Trivia. How are you today? I hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. I'm so excited for this podcast today. I wanted to be with you so much today because I looked at the calendar and I discovered it was September 1st. How exciting is that? September 1st is always exciting to me because it means that it's the last tail end of summer and the beginning of fall and then the winter season. And that is my favorite time of the year, fall and winter. But before that, we have one major holiday to get through. Major. Big. Big holiday. Labor Day. What a great holiday that is. It's a long weekend. It's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. People usually take Fridays off Labor Day, too. You know, Labor Day honors the contributions that all American workers have made to the strength, prosperity, and well-being of the country. Labor Day is also always celebrated on the first Monday of September, and it is considered the unofficial end of summer. Now, I am no spring chicken, but Maybe I missed that day in school where we discovered that Labor Day was celebrated on the first Monday of September. Who knew that? This just shows you that you can be any age and learn something new. So that is something I have learned through my research for this podcast. Isn't that cool? Labor Day weekend is a weekend of fun where friends and families get together, perhaps trips for the long weekend. Oh, I don't know, maybe to the Atlantic Ocean, beach, sand, the ebbing and flowing of the ocean water, the Pacific Ocean, the ebbing and flowing, beautiful people, maybe a barbecue or a pool party, which may or may not, for some reason, include fireworks. Man, do I hate fireworks. They are so loud. I remember when I was around four, crying as I walked back to the car with my grandmother. After the fireworks show had begun, I just could not handle it. My four-year-old ears and the crackling noise, it was just too much for me to handle. I'm still working through that. And I'll get through it. It's okay. I'm smiling now. Following the deaths of many workers at the hands of the United States Army and the United States Marshal Service, the United States Congress voted to approve legislation to make Labor Day a national holiday. And President Grover Cleveland signed it into law as an official holiday in 1887 and 30 states officially celebrated Labor Day at that time. But, guess what? It was not yet a federal holiday until 1894. For those of you that don't know, federal holidays mean that government buildings are closed, and that would include unemployment, Social Security, Congress, and, sadly, the post office. Yes, no mail on Monday. But also, there are some private organizations that work with the post office that have included taking Labor Day off, and that is the UPS and FedEx, which kind of saddens me because I do a lot of internet shopping. But I do understand because I am for the American worker, and I am for Labor Day. So I do understand that. It might upset me, but I am open and free and understanding. The first proposal of the holiday included a street parade to exhibit to the public the strength and spirit of the trade and labor organizations, a.k.a. i.e. labor unions, followed by a festival for the workers and their families. Speeches by prominent men and women of towns and cities were introduced later. To take advantage of large numbers of customers, With time to shop, Labor Day has become an important weekend for discounts by many retailers in the United States, especially for back-to-school sales. Some retailers claim 
it is one of the largest sale dates of the year, second only to the Christmas season's Black Friday. Okay, let me stop for a second. This upsets me greatly. The hard workers that are working on Labor Day never get recognized and don't have any celebration of Labor Day at all. This is a shame because this holiday was put into legislation for all American workers. In my opinion, retail workers have it the worst. Most are working for minimum wage and seeing other people come and go while they have to work is especially difficult. In my own experience, it is not easy, and I have worked at many retail positions. Do you remember, oh, way back when, you know, maybe 10 years ago, when stores and shops and companies used to actually be closed for Labor Day? Wasn't that long ago, but we used to honor Labor Day. Not anymore. However, There is a positive light in this positive Labor Day podcast, and it is that it remains a holiday that is devoted to no one man, living or dead, to no one sect, to no one race, and to no one nation. It's only to celebrate the American worker, and that's pretty cool. So we should be thankful and honored that we have so many people that service our needs every year. People ask, what am I doing for Labor Day? You know, I used to go to Labor Day parties. Mm, I don't anymore. You know, wearing your summer dress, getting a pedicure, and bringing your bathing suit and your straw tote that you'd buy for the occasion. And you'd bring your swimming suit, even though the swimming pool water was probably way too cold to go swimming had to have it anyway. And, you know, by mid-August, the days and nights start getting very chilly around here in the Northeast. And walking around in flip-flops on the cold grass, eating hot dogs, doesn't seem so appealing now that I'm older and can make a choice of my own. Now, to many, that is perfect. And that is what they want to do. And that is what this is all about doing what you want to do on this special weekend. As long as it is not immoral or hurting anybody, that's a good thing. The last Labor Day party I went to, I made a major faux pas, as they say, and I brought, da-da-da-da, I brought a book. Yep. As I was leaving the house, and I had my little straw tote that I had bought just for Labor Day with my swimsuit in it, and a towel just in case I stuck my book in. It was um, a book that I had mentioned to you by an author, uh, Elin Hildenbrand. I mentioned it a couple episodes back, and um, she writes about Nantucket. She's from Nantucket, but she also writes about Nantucket in the summertime. It's perfect reading, absolutely perfect reading if you want to read about summer and have light reading. So I put that in my straw tote. And I brought it with me, and because I thought, well, you know, we're going to be laying on chase lounges and around the pool, and you know, I, I really just wanted to read if I had a chance. Well, that didn't go over that well with the hostess, and I was not ever invited to another Labor Day party, which actually worked out just fine for me. It did. My mentor actually has a saying that I want to tell you about. And it's a fantastic saying, and I'm sure if you wanted to use it, no one would object to you using it. I put it on my own little spin to it. I've got to be me. Not the me that my friends think I should be. Not the me that my family thinks I should be. But the me that I think I should be. I've got to be me. And the me that I have to be is an introvert person I am not an extrovert. I don't handle being in a public situation well. And I know that now. I've gotten to the point where I'm embellishing that and I know that about myself. And I'm proud of it. I'm proud that I do know that about myself. 
So I purposely stay at home with a nice book and a hot cup of tea and my pets around me and have a wonderful, wonderful Labor Day just by myself and doing what I want to do. Because when it comes right down to it, that's all that you have to be accountable for is yourself and making yourself happy. Isn't that right? I think it is. So I really wanted to tell you that I purposely don't take advantage of internet shopping or go to in-store sales to honor a day of rest, even for those who work. And since Labor Day is all about the American worker, I don't do anything that's going to promote anyone having to work. I will not call a customer service person if I have a problem. I'll wait till Tuesday. I don't use the television because it would make someone have to work to have the television channels keep running. At any rate, I do adhere to that. I do believe that it's all about the American worker and making them feel like they're honored. And that is really where I stand with it. Now, everybody has a different way of celebrating their Labor Day. And I would love to hear how you celebrate it, even if it's something that is crazy. And even if it's a picture of a firework, I don't care. It's a great time to express yourself in a great way, as long as it's not immoral or illegal. Keep that in mind. We don't want that. But we do want you to have fun. And we do, over here at Talk Tales and Trivia, want to hear how you had fun this Labor Day and what you're planning to do this Labor Day. For goodness sakes. I'm on Instagram and I will be posting some pictures of me, Stephanie, on Labor Day and Labor Day weekend in general and what I'm doing. And you can see how fun it is for me. (laughs) Oh boy, it's a lot of fun. But you have your own way and I'd love to see it. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Talk Tales and Trivia. And I am on TalkTalesAndTrivia.com if you want to see past episodes Along with this episode, if you want to hear it again or share it, please download it. Please subscribe, please. And I also have my email address, TalkTalesAndTrivia at gmail.com. Love to hear from you. And I am on iTunes and Stitcher. Love for you to subscribe. But I really, really just wanted you to have a fantastic Labor Day. I want to enlighten you a little bit about Labor Day. I hope I did that. And I want you to have a fantastic Labor Day. I want you to be safe. Don't drink and drive. There's public transportation out there. Taxi, bus, train. And if you can walk, please do so. It's good for you. Exercise is good. So that's it for today and for this week. But I'll be back next week with something really, really light. Very easy going. And something that is part of Today's modern pop culture.